is Orbor's Chronos implemented? You know, this always happens with Molten Tar Monster number three. So when Chico Crypto does a video, he'll criticize some arbitrary part of our system. And the criticism is just out there. And he's, oh, well, we use a central clock and and that central clock is not used by Polkadot, therefore Cardano bad. Well, so does F2. Um, NTP and these things like it, if they break, the entire internet breaks. So don't you think that's reliable infrastructure that's going to be around and useful? <laughs> you know, and there are, of course, many recovery mechanisms. Uh, if there was an NTP problem, it is not a practical vector of attack for a reasonable scale system. Now, we'd like to be reliant on no thing and no one and as decentralized as possible. So we were the first to address this in the very first paper of its kind with something called Orbor's Chronos. But it would be an unnecessary diversion to just go and chase three months of implementation to pull Kronos in when we don't need it as a system. Right now, there's still federation in the system. You still have OOPFT nodes working with the stake pools and making some of the blocks. So until March, it, you still have that reality. You still have relay nodes and these types of things. There's an order of process that you have to go through. The other thing is that Chronos should be implemented with Redux, should be implemented with Genesis, and should be implemented with fast finality and high throughput enhancements to the system. So Ouroboros 2, a roll up of all the research that we've done, which will make it considerably better than anything in market. So the name of deployment execution is saying, what is a problem today? What's a theoretical but unlikely issue versus what is a practical and certainly problematic issue? result and understand how to balance things and create a roadmap accordingly youtube jockeys don't do that for a living they just sit get a surface level understanding of something and brutally attack people uh, based on that surface understanding for example it's analysis of mantis oh there's only nine notes running mantis was never released as a production system it was always uh, a proof of concept experiment and we got the code base to a point where people could use it but we never released it as a product. We never productized it. We never advertised it. So that's like saying, oh, well, this uh, experiment you did in a lab, well, no one is using that experiment. Well, yeah, it's a lab experiment. It's a proof of concept to demonstrate we could do something and we're reusing it in different things. Like for example, with the dev nets. And now we're for the first time ever actually productizing Mantis and bringing it out into Ethereum Classic. Was that mentioned? No because this is what a YouTube jockey does. They take a small sliver of something and then try to convince you that is everything and leave out key facts that would radically change the entire story and argument. And any person who listens to him, it, it, at this point, shame on you. You're the idiot, not him. He knows exactly what he's doing and he knows how to do that to mess with people. You know, it's 2020. We've been working on Cardano since 2015. First time I've ever heard anybody complain about the clock. We wrote the first paper about it. And this is a distributed systems conversation. The very first paper that Leslie Lamport wrote, I think in the 1960s, was on clocks. It's a very, very well understood long arc problem in systems theory, distributed systems theory. And it just blows my mind that a YouTube jockey can make a video and then I get asked over and over again, what are you gonna do about this centralized clock? Oh my God, it's as if like there's one server out there and that server goes down and Cardano goes down. No, no, you idiots. That's not the case. That's not how it works at all. And if the internet breaks, then how does Cardano run at all? Because your ISPs go down. So what, you have your own ISP? And they say, oh, well, but, but we need to be decentralized in everything. Well, what if there's a hardware backdoor inside your Intel processor and your AMD processor. I guess we should go to risk five and only deploy there. But how can we trust the fabricator? Eh? Well, we got to make our own processors. We got to fabricate them ourselves. But how do we know that the raw materials are right? Well, let's go to the beach and grab our own sand off of it and, you know, dope our own silicon. I mean, how insane do you want to be going down this road? You need some notion of trust somewhere, either in your operating system, your hardware, that the internet is going to work properly, especially core protocols that run the entire internet. And if you don't have any of that trust, crypto doesn't work for Bitcoin or for any of these systems. Sorry, it just doesn't work. Your, your secret keys can't be kept private. 
So you might as well just buy gold and, and not have a computer all around and live like the Unabomber in Montana. <laughs> you know, 